Hello, sixth graders, and happy Tuesday. Uh, today we are gonna talk about owning our choices. That is our um, culture playbook focus for the month that we are doing. And we are going to dive into what that really means. So today I have a video for you. Sit back and watch um, and reflect what that means, what this means to you and how it applies to your life. And are you already good at owning your choices or are you not so great at it? And how can you get better at it if you aren't so great at it? So watch this video and we will talk more about owning our choices as the month goes on. Have a great day and I'll see you tomorrow. We've all heard it. It's not my fault. She did it first. I forgot. It's not my job. These are all excuses. Excuses just blame others so we don't have to be responsible for what we did. Here's what I say. It's time we own what we do and start taking responsibility. How can we do that? Well, today we've got three things we can do to stop making excuses and start owning our actions. I'm Morgan, this is Rocket Kids, and let's get this started. Okay, I know what you're saying, but Morgan, sometimes it really isn't my fault. I get what you're saying, I do, but I say, yeah, it is your fault. Hold on, okay, stay with me here. You are you. Everything you do is you doing it, not someone else. It's you. Everything I do is me doing it. Yeah, that's me. If I slide down a muddy hill in my new clothes or get a bad grade on a test, that's me that did that. I might say, Sally made me go down that hill or Sarah has my math book so I couldn't study. The truth is Sally and Sarah didn't have anything to do with it. So stop blaming and start owning. Number one, own your part. Something happened, no matter whose fault you may think it is. And now you have to explain it to an adult why you did what you did. That's so not fun. We can blame someone else, but you are a part of this. So you need to take a step back, think about what happened, and look at what part you took in it. Here, tell me what you think of this. One kid swipes a toy from another kid. So what does the other kid do? He kicks the other kid. You may say that that kid deserves to be kicked. He swiped the toy. But let's take a step back. Two things happened. One kid swiped a toy. The other kid responded by kicking. Did both kids do something? Yes, they did. So now they both have to be responsible for their own actions. Number two, cause and effect. You ever heard of cause and effect? It goes something like this. Because I did this, this happened. I didn't study, so I failed the test. I jumped in a puddle, so my shoes got wet. You get the idea. Sometimes the effect is good. Because I helped clean the classroom, I got extra time at recess. That's good. Because he swiped the toy, I kicked him. Not good. Just remember that something will happen with everything that we do. Sometimes it's a good thing, and sometimes it's bad. So, do things that have positive outcomes, not negative ones. Number three, solve the problem. When faced with something, we have choices that we can make. Sometimes we make bad choices and that's okay because we can learn from those mistakes. And sometimes we make good choices. When we make bad choices, that's when we start to blame other people and things for our mistakes and problems. So, let's think about the choices you have to avoid the problem in the first place. Let's put it this way. I get a bad grade on my project, and all I can say is the teacher didn't explain how to do it. Wait, that's my excuse? I didn't own that. Maybe I can ask myself, what could I have done about that? How could I have avoided that bad grade? Did I think about asking the teacher to explain the project to me if I didn't understand it? Maybe I should have because that's better than blaming my teacher for my bad grade. I got the bad grade, not her. We have choices and we are all smart people. So let's solve the problem before it's a problem. As kids, we will do a lot of things to avoid taking responsibility for our actions. Let's face it, no one likes to get in trouble, especially kids like you and me. But if we can own our part, know that all actions have good and bad outcomes, and work to avoid the problem before it's a problem, then we can learn to take responsibility for our actions. And guess what? We stop blaming others and we own it. It's you doing what you do and no one else. Titans pledge. As a Titan, I am respectful, responsible, and safe. I pledge to pursue excellence, live with integrity, and act with purpose.